The recently concluded ANA Avedar X Prize Technologies contest aims to promote the creation of robotics and other cutting-edge concepts and technologies with a $10 million prize fund. During the event, a number of international teams competed to display the most advanced robot avatar. One of the most fascinating and promising developments was made by the Japanese team Janus, which was based on the French and Japanese laboratories GRL and LIRMM. The people who work at these labs are quite informed and experienced in creating humanoid robots. The Bikedal Gynoid Robot HRP-4C, often known as the Robot Girl meme, serves as the Janus team's avatar. To construct this robot, AIST previously collaborated with Kawada Industries. HRP-4C is considered one of the most humanoid robots among existing humanoid robots worldwide. It has a natural gait, can effectively manipulate objects, and can recognize facial expressions. The robot impressed both the jury and the general audience interested in high technology. The winner of the $10 million prize fund X Prize Avidar contest was the NIMB Ro team from the Autonomous Intelligence Systems Group at the University of Bonn, Germany, with their remotely controlled robot project operated through VR glasses and an exoskeleton. Their prize of $5 million is comparable to a substantial investment round and could serve as a springboard for creating a major company. The NIMB Ro robot features five-fingered hands, and its head is mounted on a robotic arm, allowing for freedom of movement. The operator uses virtual reality glasses, and the exoskeleton transmits the movements of the operator's arms and fingers with the correct force providing tactile feedback. The machine underwent a test in which it had to remotely complete 10 tasks, including activating a switch, using a drill to open a door, and identifying objects of various textures and weights. The NIMB row team completed the task in 5 minutes and 50 seconds. American engineer has developed a robotic hand with capabilities similar to a human hand. This highly dexterous robotic hand is lightweight, making it suitable for mounting on a robot's body. The robotic hand operates on a lever-driven mechanism that allows it to move like a human hand. The engineer began his work by studying existing robotic hands, analyzing their strengths and weaknesses. He then compiled a list of desired features for the new hand, including sufficient fingertip strength, high controllability, low cost, and high maneuverability. Researchers described the system as an anthropomorphic hand with integrated dexterity. It has five fingers, each with three movable joints, with sensors being placed at the fingertips. The hand measures only 22 centimeters in length and weighs about 1.1 kilograms. It includes 20 joints and can exert a force of 34 newtons. The scientist has created several videos demonstrating the capabilities of the robotic hand. Engineers from the University of Tokyo have released a video featuring their humanoid robot Musashi sitting in the driver's seat and operating a 2012 Toyota Comes electric vehicle. The researchers aim to present an alternative future where you don't need to drive your car, not because it drives itself, but because a robot is at the wheel. Musashi is a musculoskeletal humanoid developed by the research team in 2019 as a testbed for control system training. Musculoskeletal in this context means that the robot accurately mimics an average human not only in height and weight, but also in body structure. In the humanoid's head are two high-resolution video cameras, one for each eye, which can move similarly to human eyes. Its five-fingered hands turn the steering wheel according to the training software and sensor data and can also engage the handbrake, turn the ignition key, and operate the turn signals. The robot's nimble feet can press the brake and accelerator pedals as needed. The project team has equipped the vehicle with a Wi-Fi router and an Intel NUC personal computer, which runs a module for image recognition of the surroundings and a servo motor. In the future, all this technology is expected to be integrated into the humanoid robot's body. Which would you prefer? A car with no steering wheel and an autopilot, or a humanoid robot at the wheel of your car? New humanoid robots are appearing almost every week, and some of them are already being mass-produced. However, these are just bodies. To make them useful, systems that allow them to be easily trained for new tasks are necessary. Last week, researchers presented several approaches that they demonstrated on the affordable humanoid platform H1 from Unitree Robotics Company. 
Stanford engineers showcased how the human PLS system works, enabling robots to learn new movements and autonomous skills based on videos of people. Specifically, the researchers first conducted reinforcement learning for low-level policy in a simulation, using data on human movements collected from 40 hours of video. Then they transferred this policy to the real world, allowing humanoid robots to track human body and hand movements in real time, using only an RGB camera. The robot then imitated human actions, and people could correct its movements as engineers from Carnegie Mellon University's Soft Robotics Laboratory also shared their research with the same robot. They introduced Omni H20, a system for teleoperation and autonomous full-body humanoid robot control based on learning. It uses the human kinematic pose as a universal control interface. This allows controlling a full-size humanoid robot in various ways, including real-time teleoperation via a VR headset, verbal instructions, and an RGB camera. After training through teleoperated demonstrations, Omni H20 enables the robot to operate autonomously. Additionally, the system can be connected to GPT-4. The engineers also presented WOCOCO, which stands for Whole Body Contact Control. This system is based on reinforcement learning, a trial and error learning method. The results achieved with WOCOCO using the H1 robot from Unitree Robotics include various jumps, clapping, moving boxes, and other tricks. The Chinese company Unitree has demonstrated the development process of their latest creation, the robotic dog Go2. This robot attracts potential customers with its low price of $1,600, which sets it apart from competitors like Spot from Boston Dynamics, priced at $75,000. Standing 40.6 cm tall, 68.6 cm long, and weighing 15 kg, Unitree Go2 boasts impressive features. It is furnished with a 360-degree spinning LiDAR sensor, a torch, and a camera. The robot dog also has 12 motors, three on each leg, which enable it to move smoothly on different surfaces and pull off feats that resemble those of a real dog. The Unitree Go 2 has a respectable one to two hours of autonomous operation thanks to its 8,000 mAh battery. Reaching a top speed of 2.5 meters per second, the robot can maneuver through intricate environments such as rocky and stair-filled areas. And there you have it a glimpse into the astonishing world of Japanese ultra-realistic humanoid robots. These marvels of technology not only amazed us but also caught the attention of engineers around the world, including those in China. These robotic machines are surpassing our expectations with their astonishing powers and lifelike appearances. They mark a dramatic advance in artificial intelligence and robotics opening the door to a time when people and machines will be able to interact and work together in ways that are currently unthinkable. How do you feel about these incredibly lifelike robots? Post your ideas in the comments section below. Do you see the future of robotics with excitement or worry about the possibilities? We would want to hear your thoughts. We appreciate your participation in our community and for watching. For updates, behind-the-scenes content, and more fascinating global tech developments, Follow us on social media. See you in the upcoming video.